Bad luck, Norfolk's new favorite superhero, has been sighted again, this time near MacArthur Center. Sandra Carrington, the intended victim of the mugging, was able to snap this picture of our hero. You know, I'm not sure how I feel about superheroes in Hampton Roads. Well, at least they're trying to do some good. You know how the expression goes. With great power comes plausible deniability? No. That's not how that goes, dork. Oh. Miss Carrington continued to gush over bad luck after her harrowing experience. I was absolutely terrified. And then suddenly she was there at my side and she told them this is my town and this woman is under my protection. Then they tried to shoot us and their guns literally fell apart in their hands. So they ran. Then she asked me if I was okay, and I said, yes. No, I love her. She is such a badass. Come on, Trisha. You've got to tell them. They're your parents. Of course they'll still love you. Yeah, it's, it's just I have no idea how they're going to react. Look at me. If they don't still love you, then they're idiots. And they don't strike me as idiots. Okay. You're right. Okay, I, I'll tell them today. This week on Cryptid Hunters, Christina and Will finally catch up with Bigfoot. What kind of fight will he put up? Tune in to find out. Christina Myers and Will Sexton are the Cryptid Hunters. No Sasquatches will be harmed in the making of this episode. Will might be. Yeah! Wait, what? You said I wasn't gonna get hurt this time. And book Christina now if you feel like a Sasquatch yourself. Christina can make you over to look and feel like yourself again. When you shake history, sometimes you find the relatives you just did not want to see, but then sometimes you find something that instills pride. There's colonial history here. There's Civil War history. There's post-Civil War. There's the Reformation. There's every kind of history here. That's Hampton. Uh, my entire life has been wrapped around learning and understanding the history of Virginia from start to finish. Point Comfort to us was the lookout point that the English had on the mouth of the James River to make sure that no enemy ships were coming in vis-a-vis -vis the Spanish. So my understanding of how the emancipation went was just it was an order that went out and of course people were dispersed to go put that information out there. Here, under an oak tree, Newly freed African-American students listened in January 1863 as the Emancipation Proclamation was read aloud. 